welcome back to the channel and it's the long awaited Mantor. <laughs> So as we've been promising you for absolutely ages now, we said we'd take around the van once it's finished. A um, few things still left to do, but majority's already done. So come and have a look. So we've got a Swift Bolero 680 FB, and it's on a Fiat Decato chassis. Um, the engines are 2.3 diesel. What we're gonna do at the moment, I'm gonna show you the, all the modifications that we've done to it inside the motorhome since we got it. We've had it two years now, haven't we? Yeah. A few things we want to tweak on it. Like I said, there's just one big, big thing that I haven't done yet. I've been leaving it till winter comes because when we're doing less traveling. Uh, but I'll show you what we have done up to now. So one thing we get asked a lot about on our vlogs is, where did you get your seat covers from? These seat covers are from a Warner's show uh, we got beginning of this year. I think it was Peterborough. Um, you can get them on Amazon, I do believe. I have no links for you, I'm afraid, but they do look very similar, so have a look on Amazon. They're just fleecy covers that go over your existing chairs to protect them. Now, the next modification I wanted to do was when we got the motorhome, it was all in like a champagne colour and brown. Yeah, similar to what these trims are here, isn't it? Yeah. Like sort of yeah. So, I wanted to change it all. So, I have covered, recovered all of the chairs. I bought new cushions for decoration and then we went a step further and I wanted to change all the curtains as well so I've hand made all these curtains um, they're just basically normal curtains from Dunelm and then I've cut them to size and made them fit the motorhome so what we've done, we've carpeted that with the, the four way stretch carpet and this again was champagne coloured so I've done it in the matching curtain material and covered that as well and stuck it back on When we bought the uh, motorhome, it has got lino all the way through it, which mm -hmm. is like a grey, which was perfect. Um, and we've probably will go back to using that in the summer. Yeah. But when we first got it, it wasn't matching the champagne. Mm -hmm. So we had these carpets fitted, made, made measure carpets, which as you can is, see. Yeah. They don't quite match the seat coverings and everything I've done now, so they'll be getting changed as well. We, we might change colour again. There's a company called Carpets for Caravans. If you look, check them out on Facebook, and just below now you'll see that uh, they do a cracking job and it's not a bad price so we'll probably get them back again won't we at some it point it took about three or four hours yeah, at they the actually most. make them so i mean we have got we had no carpets with the van so we, we couldn't uh, do anything but we could use these as templates i suppose now couldn't we? So. yeah so for the time being i've bought a rug to match in with the gray and the lemon mm -hmm. so that's sufficing at the moment so next we're moving to the kitchen my area um, as the mo standard motorhome sink carousel underneath what go into there <laughs> um, free glass free gas burner electric hob yeah. full cooker it's a and full size isn't it that? yeah so. yeah it is um, we love it microwave kettle toaster everyone always says I can't believe you go around with microwave kettle toaster mm -hmm. we never do hook up either because we've got a full inverter that Mark will tell you about later on in the vlog uh, my full fridge freezer which I absolutely adore this fridge freezer is a godsend it's massive well the class is more or less a full size isn't it that? yeah what's all them drinks in there yeah well mm -hmm. they're for after <laughs> mm -hmm. we have a French bed in our uh, motorhome um, obviously the side chamfered off so we can get into the bathroom but yeah we love this bed Mark did a modification on this we had a brand new mattress when we bought the motorhome it was rock hard it was a hip killer and really really bad and um, obviously if you buy them brand new with the French bed like that you're gonna be paying for it so we have actually cut the corner off again mm -hmm. have a look in the vlog and you'll be able to see how we did that as well so we have a full bathroom as well with shower toilet and sink comes quite pretty standard with a motor on don't open that cupboard mark whatever you do mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got a shower in the room that we use quite often so. yeah so it's over to me now to discuss what we've done in modifications to our motor. So the first thing on the inside of the van is this extractor fan. 
it's a Fiamma turbo vent, it extracts and it also sucks air in, so it's very similar to the Max Air fan. Um, it's got like a climate control setting and everything else, so you can uh, set it to come on when it gets too warm. So we've added the addition of LED lights throughout the van, um, as you can see around the bed area here, with the sun above the cupboard. If you're wondering what that is, that's a, a little shield that goes over, over that, like that, and that's like an insulated panel. Got more LED lights here, and also, Got some down here as well, on both sides. I actually got Mark to put these in just for a bit of ambience in the in the yeah. van. I think it works really, really well. We don't well. use them that much because, believe it or not, even though the LEDs, we do quite use quite a bit of power when we're off grid. Yeah, but today we're on a cup, so we're taking advantage. And the switches, <laughs> you'll see, that's them off. So. so up on the roof, we've got solar panels, and I'm not climbing up on the ladder to show you, but we've got. 330 watt of solar panels on the roof, we probably need to clean again, we parked under trees at the minute uh, and to accompany that we've got, hiding down here, you can see that, a Victron uh, MPPT and that's 130 so there's still room for a little bit more solar if we need it. So amongst the cadet underneath the other seat we've got uh, a Ryan Smart insulated uh, B2B and next to that is the original Motron charging unit and we've got bus bars and everything else at the back and a large inverter. So with two NEOS smart cameras and these are the inside of a van um, for added security we can uh, put on motion detection alerts and keep his eye on Woody if he's, part, if he's in the van and where not and those two are there looking down both sides of the van. You've seen this on the clips of the video we've been making. Uh, it's just a, a GoPro mount. We set the camera there sometimes if we're filming down in the cab. So um, we also added some additional charge points. They're wired into the lighting circuit. I don't know if you can see them. So USB points there. Same on this side. And then there's two more down on the bed. So we charge our phones and devices at night you can see there and these are all wired into the light circuit which means obviously when you start the van and the power goes off to the lights it won't work but uh, it's fine for when we're parked up nice shiny new tap you check out past uh, fix it wednesday videos uh, and i'll do a, a video on how that gets replaced so we had the problem with the tap leaking around there uh, the issue is if it's leaking it can get into all your woodwork and cause all sorts of problems so we recommend if you get a dodgy tap if it's not the cassette inside what's leaking replace it it's not expensive additional security again we've got a stop lock and it's a van one so it's slightly larger um, you're not going to stop people pinching your van that easily but it's more of a added deterrent and we fit that when we're parked up at home if it's parked up for any length of time or if we're anywhere and it looks a bit dodgy now we've added the additional heating in the van in the way of a, a diesel heater the controls just there you can see that very well but it is powered on now I've got the controller clipped up there, a little remote, so we can turn it on and off while we're in bed. So, but we haven't used it this year ever because it's been roasting up. It's been no, warm, but on the it, monks so. are coming. It's a coming. <laughs> so it's under there the diesel heater. What I've done, I've piped it under. It, it comes out underneath a se section of floor. You've matched it in with the, the heating system. Yeah, we already it comes had, out the yeah. vents around the van and like right down there. So we blanked off on the gas heater side. But it has also got the original Truma heater in there which we've just turned the hot water off haven't we it's been on so let's go and have a look outside welcome outside we'll uh, go through what we've done extra to the uh, motorhome on the outside now first of all is a fantastic rogue alloy alloy wheels and bf good rich tires there's a vlog already out for these if you check that out moving down to the business end uh, I've, I've installed on the toilet cassette sod which is uh, basically it's an extractor inside it's just uh, a device which screws to the door you've got a pipe which goes into the toilet cassette and some extra switches and things for the 
flap in the toilet, basically that switches it on and that extracts all the smells out the toilet. So in theory you don't need to use chemical but we find in the summer that it's better still to put chemical in but during the winter no chemical it doesn't smell at all. So we've got uh, auto gas which has been installed basically put your component your gun and trigger on there and you can refill the gas bottle. The gas bottle is a standard uh, I think it's 12 or 13 litre gas bottle as you can see there's a level gauge. Um, and it's a gasset system so it's basically refillable so you don't have to take out uh, the bottle when it's empty. Um, a lot of people um, tap into a fuel tank for the diesel litre and I don't like that idea. So I've installed the diesel litre tank in the gas locker as well as you can see that there. So if there's ever a leak it'll just drain out the bottom and it won't fill the van full of uh, diesel. So that's the LPG system installed there. So we have upgraded the headlights as well, we've put LED lights in and we've got a video already released, that's the side light there as you can see, LED side lights and then we've got the upgraded lights on dip beam, neither clean, the van needs a clean actually because we're parked under trees at the moment, uh, also upgraded the, the marker lights at the top to LED We have got a light bar from Oxbeam which we're going to be installing above the roof skylight there um, in the coming weeks. That's going to get installed. Now we've said about being off grid with this fan, it's more than adequate to last for ever really if it's sunny and get the solar charging uh, back up. But we are on a hook up today so there is a standard uh, hook up cable as you can see we're on a, a site for a change. So I hope that's been helpful and it's been worth waiting for. Um, if you've got the same motorhome as us and you're thinking about doing what we've done or something similar, please drop us a comment and we'll answer any questions you have. So as I said before, I do have one more thing that I want to get done because it's driving me nuts and that is relaminating the cupboard doors. Um, I'm not keen on all the wood. That wood has to go. Everything now is lemon and grey. The silver's okay but the cupboard doors are being changed. So that's the next big thing I've got to do. Mm -hmm. Anything for you, Mark? Yeah, loads, isn't there? <laughs> I've always got things, is that there's still things that uh, I've got to do. I've got a nice big uh, light bar to put on All the right. banner, make it a little bit more rugged. Uh, additional rear view camera, uh, someone sent out, a company sent out for us to do a review. We've got that one to install. At some point we might look at upgrading to Livium. But prices are coming down on Livium batteries. It's got lead acid in ours and we're far off grid, aren't we? Yeah, so and not only that, we'll come here this weekend with on hook up anyway. So <laughs> Yeah, but uh, come in the winter months there's not as much solar as you no, as you want. So, yeah, so but we got a free winter fan last year, didn't we? Mm. So I want to get an induction cooktop so we don't use as much gas, you know the Yes at some point a single one so we can just cook on that um we're not going to get take the stove out or anything obviously no but, uh, I, don't, I don't i'm not into going fully electric i don't think so yeah anything else for you i think that's it for now isn't it but uh, who knows what the future might bring <laughs> <laughs> certainly not another bus not with the amount of work we put into this one so if you did like this vlog please remember to comment like and subscribe if you've already subscribed of Late Late, thank you very much. We've just actually hit 5,000 subscribers mm -hmm. over the moon. Yeah, thanks for all your support, guys. So until the next one, see you later.